have you been making dishwashing liquid with nitro so and it's not transparent or you are the type that your dishwashing liquid stays for months before you sell it out this video is for you hey guys welcome back to gloria home of skills to my returning subscriber thank you for always watching my video you are highly welcome back to my channel and if today is the first time i'm coming across this video thank you for tuning in and please subscribe to my channel and also press the bell notification to stay updated when next i upload a new video so you want to know how i made it and got this transparent liquid soap stay tuned and keep watching so guys these are the materials that i use to produce this dishwashing liquid so this is soda ash i used about 55 gram of soda ash so this is nitro soul and another name for nitro soul is called heck so i used about 50 gram of nitro soul to produce it so this is a sodium benzoate this is a preservative that I used. I used about 25 grams of sodium benzoate, and this is our texapone. I use about 100 grams of texapone in this production. So, the next I am going to show you guys right now is sulfonic acid. In this production, I used about 200 ml of sulfonic acid because I am going to use a foaming booster so if you have a foaming booster like either if you have a foaming booster you can use um 200 mils but if you don't have a foaming booster go ahead to use 250 mils okay so this is the foaming booster i just mentioned now so this is the foaming booster i'm going to be using so I will, i'm just going to measure about 50 mils uh, to cover the sulfonic acid that i i i didn't use up to 250 mils so i used about 200 mils so that's why i'm using this um, foaming booster so this is the color color is optional if you're making it um for home use but if you want to sell it color is necessary so i'll be using five liter of water to make this liquid soap all the water i'll be using to dissolve my chemicals i'll be fetching it from here so because of your question let me make it clear so this is uh, the Focon, uh, sulfonic acid and the texapone. I'll be mixing them together. Mixing texapone and sulfonic acid together is going to help boost the foaming power of this liquid soap. And also dissolving texapone in water, I find it very hard to do. Although it's going to dissolve, but it's going to take time. So this is the best way I dissolve it to make it easy for me. So stir it properly until the color changes and you set it aside. the next chemical i'll be dissolving right now is my soda ash so like i said i'm going to be fetching all the water that i use in dissolving my chemicals i'm going to be fetching it from the same five liter of water so in case you want to ask this question i have answered you 
I didn't get the water any other place apart from the 5 liter that I used in this production. So if you want to dissolve your chemicals and you don't want to waste time, you can just make sure that uh, you add enough water. This dissolving of chemicals, I did not use any particular measurements of water for it. So you can add as much as you want, but do not add too much. Okay. The next chemical I'll be dissolving, I'm going to be dissolving it inside the production pan. So I'm not going to dissolve it separately. Our production has started. So the first chemical I'm going to dissolve inside this mixing pan is um, sodium benzoate. So after mixing these together, I'm going to dissolve the next chemical, which is um, uh, our nitro soul. Please make sure you dissolve your chemicals properly. As you can see, uh, there are some particles in this water uh, which is uh, uh, the sodium benzoate quite a red but i'm going to give it some time to dissolve it so do not be in a haste when making your liquid soap else you won't get a good soap so that's why i said you should take your time do not be in a haste to make this you can stir this for at least 10 minutes before you leave it for you to get a good consistency and a good soap in your production so i have finished dissolving the sodium benzoate i added so as you can see the water is clear right now so the next chemical i'll be adding is our uh, nitrosol so after i added this nitrosol i uh, you discover that uh, the water is cloudy so but just give it some time so i just did it at least for like uh, 20 minutes so that you will get a good consistency so this is a uh, nitrosol and another name for it is heck this nitro soul is a carbohydrate so when you add like if i'm using in a caustic soda when you add it you find out that it will be like pap so but in this production it's going to still be like pap but i'll not be using caustic soda to make this so in this production i'll be using soda ash to get the same thick texture that is what i am adding right now the dissolved soda ash As you can see, the water has taken. So the next chemical I'll be adding right now is uh, the sulfonic acid and the mix uh, texapone mixed together. This is the best way to dissolve your chemicals and to add it in your production to make it very easy for you. If you have watched this moment, please give my video a huge thumbs up so that it can be pushed to more audience to watch. so after mixing them together uh, i'm going to add the foaming booster so i'll be using 50 mils like i said but i'm going to be using this to measure it so but if you are making your production please measure it measure 50 mils uh, when making your own but this is optional like i said 
if you are using 250 ml of sulfonic acid go ahead to make your liquid soap without a foaming agent but if you have a foaming agent you can still you can use a 200 mils of sulfonic mm -hmm. acid because things are increasing the price of uh, all these chemicals are increasing so you can use like 200 mils in your uh, sulfonic acid and uh, the foaming booster you can use uh, 50 mils sulfonic acid is more expensive than the foaming booster so if you want to make a profit you can go ahead and make it the way i i said it so this is uh, the color i just added water a little bit of water in the in the color so if you are making this please take it easy on the color don't add color too much in your productions because when you make the uh, color of your dishwash when you make it so perfect it will attract more customers to you but when you make it too much uh, it's not going to show that transparency and uh, it's not going to be fine so it's better you do your this thing you when you uh, when making your production it's better you add it bit by bit to get the perfect color so the next i'm going to add right now is my fragrance so uh, make sure you add a good fragrance and uh, i forgot to mention it earlier when i was introducing those chemicals so buy the best um, um, fragrance so they can keep your customers coming the fragrance add as desirable do not add too much so guys i have gotten the consistency and the color i want so i'll be leaving it for 24 hours to get that transparent dish wash. so this is it so guys please don't forget to cover your soap after you must have finished the production soap was covered but i didn't show the the process here so please try and cover your soap here is our soap here is the consistency i like the consistency of this soap it is so thick and uh, the color uh, is perfect so guys you can go ahead and put them in a bottle for sales and start making your money if you want to learn more about liquid soap making or any any other soap making you want to learn please check the number on the screen and contact me on whatsapp or telegram and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also press the bell notification to stay updated when next I upload a new video. Please like and share this video. Leave a comment into the comment section if you have any question and I will see you in my next one.